very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the midweek edition of the show. It's a Wednesday night, and we are here to do what we love to do, which is to talk sports and, of course, update you with goings on around you, um, not just on the domestic scene. We as well talk about issues on the international scene. So thank you for joining us, and welcome to yet another exciting edition of um, Sports Tonight. My name is Tony Ibitoe. Uh, joining me uh, for the midweek experience uh, tonight, to my media right, uh, Oyen Wuchiwachuku, sports editor, uh, sporting life uh, news editor, Bobo uh, sporting life newspaper, Oyen, um, what? Edit an editor of an editor. That was, that's the language of the newsroom. So whether I say sports editor or news editor, ed an editor of an editor. But good to have you um, on, on sports tonight, um, this very special uh, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, thank you very much, Tony. Mm. Um, so much drama. A lot of drama. Yeah, but, a lot of drama. But we are here. Mm. We'll always be here. To say it. They say soja go, soja come. The barrack remains. The barracks remain. All right. We will always be here. I mean, some of the things we've highlighted before are beginning to come to the fore. And that's about Nigerian football. Plenty of drama going around uh, in Nigeria. You do not even, you cannot afford to blink. Because before you blink, something has changed. And uh, it's a whole new drama altogether. We're talking about the crisis of leadership. We're talking about the crisis of elections. They are talking about the crisis of a coach uh, and the contract and uh, preparations for the Africa Cup of Nations. We'll give you all of that um, on the program tonight. We will also, of course, talk Globe Premier League, a review of matches played today in our usual style. We'll get you some of the pictures. We'll talk about the teams at the top, the teams at the bottom. We have everything for you. We will also accommodate the girls today because in a few hours from now, our under-20 girls will be playing the last group game and we hope that they will do just enough to qualify from that group and not go the way of our uh, sisters, our neighbors, uh, the young girls from Ghana that crashed out after winning their game uh, yesterday. Duma Joe Konta is on, is, is on with us. He will be giving us a comprehensive review of uh, matches later on uh, on the show. Duma um good to have you on, um, on Sports tonight. Well, good evening. Mm. Good evening to viewers. Um, if I want to Dramatic do, day if I'm, if, I'm, and, uh, for that if I'm going for an advanced course mm. studies, my thesis is going to be on Nigerian football. Nigerian crisis. football, the politics of Nigerian, Nigerian football. football. Ah, it's very good. Mm. You can spend the whole. You, you, you probably wouldn't get get far with that thesis because it doesn't follow a pattern. It doesn't follow uh, a pattern. Politics does not follow a pattern. But so you are going to get a foundation. Mm. Your, your thesis won't get uh, <laughs> a, 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 a two. To analyze it because it, it won't it won't so, match. So it's, it's, it's a jigsaw for you. It goes like this, and before you know it, everything is scattered. So you probably will not want that kind of topic for a thesis. But we will take a look at it later on. But it's really, really becoming very embarrassing now uh, for us because those who crafted the script when they started this whole crisis, I'm sure must be must be embarrassed at the dimensions um, that the crisis of leadership and everything around Nigerian football. The dimension it is taking, uh, it is taken in the last few days. But we'll try and talk about it later on uh, on the show as well. CC will be joining us as well. We'll take a look at the women's league, and of course we'll talk about the four connects, uh, as I said before, uh, on the program tonight. Of course, tonight we will take you to Abuja. We will take you to Yenegoa. We have persons that will be standing by to talk to us to shed light on what has been a dramatic day uh, around. Uh, administration of Nigerian football. But let's start off this way. Feedback, very key. We need you to understand. Yesterday was an amazing day for us because we got plenty of feedback on the show and we were able to read plenty of feedback as well because we had the chairman of Stationary Stores FC with us on the show, Tilewa Adibajo, and he spoke so well. And now I now have, a, have an understanding of why Stationary Stores is what it is. I can't imagine people from outside of Nigeria, everybody interested in knowing what is going on around stationary stores. So we expect you to do the same today, because today we will talk Nigerian football. So talk to us, take advantage of the platforms that you see on your screen, um, give us your opinion to the issues as we raise them on this program through those following mechanisms on Facebook, channels, iPhone Sports, uh, on Twitter, at channels underscore sports, 
and of course at Tony Ibitoe, all of that will be very active. So we are, uh, expect that you will please join us as we go along and give your thoughts and opinion to issues as we raise them. I I'm getting some signals now, but let's just start off the show. It uh, looks like we have some piece of breaking news for you. Let's start off the show because um, this has got to do with the 2014 Youth Olympics that is taking place in China. That's, that's uh, um, what is the first issue uh, for us, if I'm getting signals very, very correctly the 2014 Youth Olympics taking place in um, China. The, our, our first story on the program tonight comes from there. And I am told that we have joining us on the line the Secretary General of the Nigeria Olympic Committee, Tunde Popola. He joins us on Sports Tonight. Maybe he's got some breaking news for us. Tunde Popola, thank you for joining us on Sports Tonight. This is really the first time we're starting the show off immediately with a phone call because of the urgency and the importance of the message that you have for us on the show tonight. What exactly is going on around Nigeria and the Youth Olympics starting in a few days in China? Well, um, uh, thank you very much. Um, we are just rejoining our team from the uh, competition in, uh, in China. And um, the reason is uh, not far fetched. You will know, discover the last uh, one week. Uh, most of our competitions are being stressed by other one we draw or try to withdraw by people. You know, all these are not connected with uh, the issue of the uh, Ebola virus. And we don't want these uh, young kids, you know, to be traumatized in a situation whereby they be subjected to some kind of uh, treatment, whatever they are. These are young men, and then um, we need them more now than ever. We don't need to destroy their psyche. We don't need to put them under unnecessary psychological trauma because of the events going on. So the best thing for us to do would be to withdraw them back home so that they have a better future. They have a better understanding of, um, of um, events. It should not be nice if at the end of um, uh, during the competition, the athletes will be uh, uh, not able to perform well because they are under one kind of stress or the other. I would want to say this one very clearly now so that we will not misunderstand the, the whole um, scene and the reasons why. One, all the athletes that went to uh, Beijing were accepted by the authorities in, in China. And none of them, I think not one of them, two officials, were tested, I mean, were tested positive. Got positive. So, but they are there now, and then the way it is, they turn off from the surrounding situation. Uh, they will not be able to go freely, walk around freely. And if you are in a situation whereby you are not uh, free to move around, I think it will also traumatize you. Like me and you, we were also traumatized by the um, action of um, the madman that brought it to us, if I may I can use that word. But certainly, we need, and of a responsible country, protect this young athlete. If it were maybe the old ones, they could be able to manage, but we cannot put the young men you know, in such a stressful situation. That's why we're asking them to come back home. Let, let, let's clarify this very quickly for those who are listening to us, who are watching us from across the globe. What you are saying, yeah. just to reemphasize um, your words, uh, Tudek Popola, Secretary General of yeah. the Nigeria Olympic Committee, is that Nigeria is pulling out of the 2014 Youth Olympics taking place in China. It is supposed that to is, start in two days' time, is, and so Nigeria is very, pulling out because... That is very, very correct, yes, be, we are pulling out. Because our athletes have been... back home the next time, mm. uh, for the hours, where possible. How many athletes did we send there in the first place? We have 14 athletes, and then five officials, as of this moment. 14 athletes, five athletes, officials, athletes. Team Nigeria for the Youth Olympics, coming back yes. because of discrimination around the Ebola virus. Can you shed more light on that for us? I, I, what exactly? I, 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 